Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Jason and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about this new air portable evaporative cooler. Let me just start off this video with this disclaimer that evaporative coolers only work in dry and hot climates. If you live in an area that's humid, you probably won't get near the same results that I did in this video. Now it's been a crazy summer so far. We have record breaking heat waves all over the country. We have rolling power outages. Well, I wanted to provide a way for you guys to stay comfortable even if the power was out. Now this new air evaporative cooler is so efficient that you can actually run it off a portable battery setup. Of course, you can run it in your house off the wall jack. If the power's on, you'll save a ton of power that way too. Well, how cold is the air that actually comes out? How long is it gonna run on my battery? And how much power does it actually use? These are all questions I'm about to answer, so stay tuned. I have this plugged into my Blue Eddy EB70. Let's go ahead and turn the fan on and see what type of power results we get from high, medium, low, and maybe when the evaporative cooler is actually running. So first part of the testing, I'm just gonna run the fan only. So fan on low is about 60 watts. Fan on medium is about 72 watts. And fan on high is about 81 to 82 watts. Turning on the evaporative pump and having the fan on low, it's about 63 watts. With the evaporative pump on and the fan on medium, it's about 75 watts. And high speed function is not supported with the evaporative pump running. Let's go ahead and see how long this would last on my EB70. Now in previous testing, my EB70 came out with a capacity of around 616 watt hours. If we divide 616 by actually the 78 watt max that we got, it'll give us about 7.8 hours of runtime. If you had a battery that either had more or less, you could easily calculate it by taking the watt hour storage and dividing by 78 watts. But wait, did you notice I had a solar panel back there? How long would it run if we had a solar panel plugged in? Now that's a 100 watt solar panel. Let's go ahead and test plugging it in with a 100 watt solar panel and seeing if we can get this to run forever as long as the sun's shining outside. Okay, so I have the rock pals plugged in and the evaporator cooler is running. See, I'm getting 74 watt input and the evaporative cooling is pulling 71 watts. So we're definitely charging it faster than the energy is coming out. So you could technically, if the sun kept shining and there were no clouds, you could run this unlimited off this battery. Now, the other way to look at this is you could be running this evaporative cooler off of solar energy. So you've invested this money. Well, why not get your money back out of your battery and solar panel by running the evaporative cooler all day off this instead of using power from your wall outlet. Okay, time to do some actual temperature testing on this evaporative cooler. I have my infrared gun here. I just wanna see what the ambient temperature of the room is. Okay, we're pushing right around uh, 75.8, 76. So that's what the temperature of the room is. Let's see if we can get a little bit lower temperature with having this turned on. Okay, so it's been running for about two minutes. I think that's enough for the pad to get fully saturated. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting. 68.8, 68.7, awesome. Remember it was at around 76 and now we're getting 68. So about eight degree temperature drop. So new air includes two of these ice packs that you can put in the reservoir to cool off the water at the bottom of the cooler. Let's go ahead and see if these drop the temperature of the air coming out. Okay, so I just put the ice in there and I got 64.8. So we definitely saw a few degrees drop just by putting the ice in there. So pretty cool. This is definitely better than just using a fan um, and it just feels really good. Like I could easily sit in front of this all day and just feel really comfortable. Now it's super easy to add water to the unit. You just unlatch the bottom and pull the tray out, put water in and then put it back in. It comes with a super thick evaporation pad and you can see how it just absorbs all the water. The pump allows even flow across the whole pad so you get really good saturation. Now the back of the unit has a complete built-in air filter so the pad won't get covered up with all this dust. And it also comes with the remote. So if you're trying to control this in bed, you just simply push the button on and off, change any mode, really easy to use. Now in front of the evaporative cooler, there's this filler gauge where you can see how high the water is. And you'll start hearing the pump when it can't suck up any more water, it makes a little bit more noise. So that's how you know when you need to refill it. At the bottom of the evaporative cooler, there's also four rolling wheels, so it's very easy to move. In addition to the wheels, there are these handles on the side. You can easily pick it up and move it around as needed. My wife, who is seven months pregnant, uh, has used this quite a bit to be comfortable in the summer, and she has been able to move it around without any issues. Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that information. If you guys want to learn more about this new air 
evaporative cooler. I have a link down in the description below. You can click on that link to learn more about this product. I also have a 10% off discount code you can use if you want to purchase it. Just go to their website and put in the code JasonOid1 and you can save 10% on checkout. Now this evaporative cooler is priced right at $189, so with that discount code you can save about 20 bucks. Overall, I think this product's definitely worth it. You saw how efficient it was. You actually saw how much temperature dropped as you used it, and I was pretty happy. Well, that's about everything that I wanted to cover in this video. If I left out any details that you wanted to know about, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.